Hey, what's good, everybody? Um, I'm back with another video. Today is a monumental day. Um, this is my last chemo treatment. Um, it's about 7.45 in the morning. I'm going to be heading out soon to uh, do this last um, treatment. But again, I just want to thank everyone for all of your prayers and thoughts and wishes. Everything over these last 20 plus weeks that I've been going through these treatments, radiation and chemotherapy. Um, I'm almost at my last step now. Um, this is my last day of chemo. As you can see the shirt. Uh, I'm going to assume it's going to be tough because all of them have been tough. But I don't know, like my shirt says that my dad sent me. I am a lot tougher. Um, just another little, little thing that's happened. My blood work been pretty been getting lower and lower each each week. But um, I found, I think that red wine helps with platelets. Um, I asked if I could drink red wine and they said as long as it's not a treat, uh, when the chemo is attached to me and going through me, I can have at least a, like a glass a night. So I've been drinking red wine almost every night and my platelets started going up. So that might be a little hack. I'm not sure. We're going to see today what it, if it goes up even more. And also, there has also been some additional bleeding recently. Last week, I uh, do see a gastro doctor tomorrow to find out, you know, what, what he want to say, what he got to say about that. But other than that, other than tiredness, fatigue, nausea, just feeling like crap, uh, which is expected. Everything is okay. Um, I'm still here. I know it's been a long time since my last video, but I'm still here on this side of the ground. Um, but I'll update you all after this last chemo session and I get to ring the bell today. So um, thanks again. Oh, my mom came down to help uh, for it. She got a one way ticket. So she's just here to help me and my fiance um with whatever she can so thankful for her for that and thank you all for your prayers and kind wishes and i will uh like i said update y'all after my session well, to six weeks later it's been about two months since that video that was on march 16th when i was going to get start my chemo for the last time um since then i have had it disconnected and i've got to ring the bell um and uh, I was scheduled to go see my surgeon on April 16th, which would have been about three weeks after my last chemo session. And the, my oncologist was saying just that's just to give my body some rest in between that last session. Um, and so. I was scheduled to go see my doc, the surgeon on uh, April 6th. Well, the morning of April 6th, I got the call, a call from my doctor office, the, the surgeon's office, said my um, insurance was no longer active. I had no idea that was happening because I had just seen another doctor earlier in the morning and they didn't tell me anything. But my surgeon called and said my insurance was inactive. Um, so I talked to my employer and they said that because I was on long-term disability and no longer on short-term disability, where in short-term disability, they were paying me. But with long-term disability, the company that they use um, is paying me now. So when I had short-term disability, my employer was still paying, uh, taking money out of my paycheck to go towards my health insurance. With the um, long-term disability, because my short-term disability exhausted, so I moved over into long-term disability. So with my long-term disability, they were no longer taking my money out of my check to cover my health insurance. I did not know that. Uh, it could be my fault that I didn't know that. I probably should have asked more questions, um, but I didn't. So uh, as a result, my insurance was canceled through my employer on April, uh, on March 31st. 
my appointment to see my surgeon was April 6th. The COBRA thing that comes, kicks in, I think here, you know, within America, the COBRA comes into play uh, once you're no longer covered through your employer, whether you're terminated or in my case, I'm on long-term disability. So uh, they weren't paying into my health insurance anymore. So COBRA was supposed to kick in. I talked to COBRA and they said that they don't send the information out until two weeks after your insurance is terminated. So what good does that do me? That I, if I have an appointment, which I did, one week after my insurance was terminated, but they don't send it out and let you know that you got, uh, you don't have insurance anymore and you this is your next, the other another option for two weeks, that doesn't do me any good. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. And the COBRA insurance would have been almost $800 a month for just me alone with to continue my health insurance through uh, the insurance company that I was uh, participating with. I didn't want to do that, couldn't afford to do that. So I went on the marketplace, got some health insurance for pretty, it was pretty inex inexpensive. So I did that. Uh, but then my insurance wouldn't be active until May 1st. So I had to move my surgeon's appointment to May 4th. Um, and that's what, what I did. So May 4th, uh, which was two days ago from today when I'm making this video, I got my surgery date, which is going to be on um, May 16th. I have some pre-op stuff that I have to go through next week, some testing, blood work, all of that, COVID test. Um, and then of course all of the preparation. Um, but the good, I want to do share some good news. Um, what happened at the surgeon's appointment, he did a rectal exam there in the office and he was not able to see the tumor anymore. All he said he could see was scar tissue. So um, when I first went to his office and he did the exam, he could see the tumor clear, clear as day right there uh, when he, you know, went in. But this time he was not able to see anything other than scar tissue. So radiation did its job. And now I'm hoping that the chemo has done its job as well and killed all of the cancer cells. Um, I won't find that out until after the surgery. Uh, the pathologist has to take a look at uh, that section, the lymph nodes, make sure there's the no cancer cells there. So that's good news. Um, so May 16th, I'm scheduled for surgery. Hopefully there's no more hiccups as far as insurance goes. And um, I will have a temporary bag attached to me that may be for like four to six weeks, depending on how well my body heals. Um, and the things that you have to look out for, obviously, with any type of surgery is those normal things. But with this type of surgery, uh, the additional risk factors is that the uh, part that's a resection together, that's connected together from, like I showed in that first video, that part A to part B, once that's connected again, the doctor said that there's a 40% chance that it could kind of like split open or the, the connection can break and in that way things will uh, start to leak that's the main thing that we have to look out for but um, like I said I've done done with the chemo and the chemo and the radiation part of it um, I'm dealing with some neuropathy in my fingers and toes and my fingers and feet um, expected um i did google it and it said that that could last for three to five months after chemo has stopped so um i'm definitely going to reach out to my doctor the oncologist anyway and let them know that this was happening but other than that i've just been sitting here waiting um i got one last hurdle to go over <clears throat> room recovery six to eight weeks um and then 
um, I can finally say that I'm in remission and it, it'll never come back again. I'm, I pray to God every day that it never comes back again. So thanks again for listening, listening to me ramble. Um, I hope that I gave a, a, a clear enough update to you all um, so that you know what's been happening. I did not lose hair. I did thin some, but no, no lots have fallen off. So everything there is good. And uh, there you go. That's all there is to it. So until next time, which will probably be, I'm not sure, before surgery or after surgery, I'll uh, let you all keep you all updated. Um, and I appreciate everything, the words of encouragement, text calls, messages, everything. I love you all. Peace out.